Welcome my friends to another bread and butter pudding. Alright, this one. Honey and banana. Oh, it's a beauty. Alright, first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. I'll put the recipe down below as always. Now, you've got to get yourself an oven dish and your um, baking dish. Now, make sure that you get one that fits in there. Because we're doing um, van uh, vanilla custard, we have to put water down the side halfway up it for to cook the custard all right so okay so make sure you get both all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the custard first and put it aside so you need four eggs whisk them up make sure you do it in a um in your jug so you can just keep adding your milk and you can see exactly how much you got in there so whisk them up first All right, then to that you want to add three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. And you want two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, this dessert is so yummy. All righty, whisk them in together. Should mix it up really good. Right, once you've got them mixed up, add your first two cups of milk. So all up we want four cups. If you add your first two cups, you can mix it up nice and good before you add your next two cups so you don't spill it everywhere. And then we leave this sit aside while we do all the bread and just stir it every now and again. And it's just all blends in beautifully by the time we go to pour it in. It's beautiful. Alright, add your other two cups. So you want all up, you want to go up to the four cup mark, which is one litre. Alright, stir that in. Beautiful. And put that aside. Now, next thing you want to do is we're going to do the bread, butter, and the honey, and we're going to cut them whatever shape we have to for whether you've got a round dish, an oval dish, it doesn't matter what sort of dish. You just cut them to fit, and we're going to do the first layer on the bottom. So I'll just do the first one. So you probably use about three quarters of a loaf of bread all up. Now, you can do it with or without crust, but um, I love doing mine without the crust. Now, before you cut the crust off, you're way better off. Uh, buttering it because it's a lot easier to cut it off after than trying to cut your crust off and then try to butter it So you just want a thin layer of butter first And then when it comes to the honey you don't want too much if you put too much on it It'll be really really sweet. So I'll just get a teaspoon and Just drizzle when you get a teaspoon probably half a teaspoon on there Like you really don't want much. Alright, spread that on. See how it's beautiful, nice and thin? That's exactly how you want it. Yeah, if you do it too thick, it'd be sweet as sweet as heck. Okay, once you've done that, cut your crust off. And start putting them in the bottom until you've got your first layer. Right, once you've done your first layer, you need to, I've just got a heap of bananas, I'm not sure how many I'm going to use here. You need to get your banana and you cut it any which way you want, um, however however thick or thin you want. So I like, um, I like it really thin and then to cover the whole thing. So I'll cut mine really thin and it's completely up to your taste how thick or thin you want it. Alright, once you've got your banana cut. And your first layer done. All right, line it as little as much as you want. I like to cover it.
Now once you've finished your first layer, you do exactly the same thing, your butter and your honey. Um, I normally do four layers, but this might go a bit higher because of the banana. So I'll let you know in a minute just how many layers I did end up going. But when you get to the top layer, don't put banana on it, just your honey layer. So I ended up doing four layers. I did three layers with honey and banana, and one layer on top with just honey. All right, now get your custard mix. Give it a good whisk again because it's been sitting there. Make sure you put your um, your pudding in your tray before you do this part, so it's all ready to go. All right, once you've whisked that, whisk that up again. Pour it very slowly over. It takes a while. Just keep slowly pouring it over. It'll slowly sink in and soak in, and then you got to pour more, and you just keep doing it. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Now, once you pour that all over, it's completely up to you what you want to put on top. I love slivered almonds, and I will put them on top of almost all of my um, bread and butter puddings. But if you don't like almonds or they can't have nuts, um, you can have desiccated coconut, sprinkle that on. Uh, you can sprinkle cinnamon on. It's absolutely up to you, but I like the little bit of a crunch factor. But yeah, coconut works beautiful as well, and it will go toasty on there after. So, oh, I might get them out. So I just want to evenly spread them on there. I love these slivered almonds because once they get all toasted in the oven, oh, they just, it makes the dish, I reckon. So as little as as many as you want. I love going overboard with everything. And they look stunning as well when it's finished. Now hopefully your oven's preheated to 160 and it's all ready to go. All right, once you've got whatever topping you want to put on top, you want to put your water in now. So the water, we only want to fill halfway up of whatever oven dish you're using. All right, it's really important to do it. I'll just move this out of the way for a minute while I do it so you don't get it into your thing. All right, halfway up your dish. So that was practically one liter, and that's halfway up. Okay, so now we put it in the oven for one hour. Hours up, look at this beauty. Oh, isn't it a beautiful thing? Alrighty, let's get a bit of this in there. Oh, this will not disappoint. Now, if you don't like bread and butter puddings, you have to absolutely give it a go. Check that out. Mate, that is perfect. Oh, look at that banana in it. It's beautiful. There you have it. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Have a great night, and oh, you've got to give it a crack. Bye.